All right, let's count down in three, two, one, start. So let's, it looks like we're all seated. For those of you watching the recording, find a good sitting position that's comfortable, yet alert. You know, cross-legged or legs out in front, whatever's comfortable. And we're going to start with three centering breaths together. So let's lengthen our spine, sitting up nice and tall. You can close your eyes if that's comfortable. And let's begin by breathing in through our nose. And then plugging into the ground or your mat as you breathe out. Letting the shoulders relax down. Okay, and let's breathe in once again. Feeling your shoulders rise and your chest expand. And then breathe out through your mouth. Noticing how the air exits your lips. All right, last breath here. So let's breathe in. And then release. And then you can resume a normal breathing pattern. And then let's relax our whole body. As usual, we're gonna start from the top and work our way down. So if there's any wrinkles in your forehead, relax those. You can even use your fingertips and iron out those wrinkles. And work your way down to your eyes, letting your eyelids relax. Down to your cheeks and your jaw. Okay, and then let's focus on our necks. It holds our heads up most of the day. So relax it. And notice how your neck connects to your shoulders, down through your arms. And then just breathe into your arms and notice where your hands, what your hands are touching, whether that's on your knees, maybe they're clasped in your lap. And then back to our torso, so your chest expanding and contracting as you're breathing. And then we'll do the same thing for the bottom half of our body. So let's notice our big touch points where your bottom touches your mat. And turn where your feet touch your mat. If you're sitting cross-legged where your shins are interacting with your feet. Now let's notice all those parts together, just your body sitting here. Getting ready for what's ahead. All right, and for this last little bit, I want you to focus on a noise around you or a body sensation, whether that's the hum of your fridge or someone else in the house. It can even be the cool sensation of your breath. And for this final bit, I want you to just relax and coast. And when you hear the singing bowl being played, exhale and open up your eyes. I'll call it out.
All right, so let's take our final breath in. You can open up your eyes, get used to the light. All right, so let's start with a sitting uh, side stretch. So take your arms, fingertips, and reach up towards your ceiling. I'm going to start on my right side today. So let's plant the right palm on the mat and reach up towards the upper right hand corner of the room with the left arm and let the stretch come down through your side all the way down to your hip and just play with that distance with the arm and elbow that's on the ground maybe getting a little bit deeper in the stretch or not Okay, let's bring the right hand and right arm back up at the top and plant the left palm on the mat. Let's do the same thing with the right arm. Okay, turn the chin up towards the ceiling as well. Looking up. Then let's bring the left arm back up at the top. Ooh. And let's bring our hands down to heart center. We're getting uh, our spine. So let's plant the left palm on the mat behind you or on the floor. And the right palm is on your left knee and give yourself a gentle twist. Okay, and same thing, let's turn the chin in towards the shoulder. All right, and as you breathe out, let's unwind, come back to center. Let's get our other side. So left hand is on the right knee. Right palm is planted behind you. And as you exhale, get a little bit deeper into the stretch. See how far back behind you you can look. Okay, and then we'll unwind. Now let's get the soles of the feet together in front of you. Let's get the inner thighs. So pull the heels in, let the knees drop down your mat as far as comfortable. And begin to lean forward. Maybe open up your feet like a book. That's what's comfortable for you. All right, and as you give yourself a big exhale, reach the arms or hands in front of you. As you continue to exhale, see if you can slide a little bit further forward. Knees are getting even lower. You just let those inner thighs begin to get happy. All right, let's sit back up, bring the knees up, and let's stand. <clears throat> My regulars know what's coming. Let's get those hamstrings, okay? So feet are flat on the floor, toes are forward. We're gonna add the arms up top. And let's swan dive forward and down, okay? Controlled, legs are straight. Let's fold the arms and relax the forehead on the forearms and rock side to side. And we're finding the tight spot in the hamstrings. Yeah, let's take it to stage two. Let's clasp the fingers behind us and reach the hands up towards the ceiling or towards the front of the room, adding in some shoulders. Continuing to breathe. 
All right, and as you breathe out, let's release the fingertips and let's plant the left palm in the floor right in front of your face and rotate right arm up, turning the chin up towards the ceiling as well. Okay, open up that right shoulder and your chest. Let's bring the right arm down. Let's switch palms. So that right palm is on the floor. Left fingertips are reaching towards the ceiling. Let's open up the left shoulder. And those hamstrings are really happy now. Okay, let's give yourself one last push with that right hand on the floor, opening up your chest and then bring the left arm back down to the earth. All right, let's let the upper body dangle. And on a slow 10 count, we'll slowly straighten up. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Woo. All right, so let's bring the legs back together. We'll do a standing side stretch. So you can either go feet together or sleep feet slightly apart, whatever's comfortable for you. All right, standing up nice and tall. Let's bring both arms up. And then I'll start with the left arm down to my left side. Looking at the right hip. It's just like the seated version, but adding a little balance since we're standing. And just focus and breathe it, breathe it in that stretch from your hips all the way up to your fingertips. All right, that right side's nice and happy. So let's bring the left arm back up, dropping the right arm down your right side, maybe sliding that hand down your leg, getting a little bit deeper into the left side stretch. And remember, if there's a kink within that elbow, straighten up that forearm. And then once it's straight and strong, just so reach, and then let's bring the right arm back up, and then bring the hands down to heart center, and we'll get our necks, necks, Ooh, necks, next. All right, let's do the chicken wing. So let's grab the, uh, I'm sorry, grab the left wrist behind our back. The chicken wing is on the right side. Let's drop the head down towards the chicken wing side. Releasing any tension you might have in your neck. Okay, and let's rotate the head back and look up, chin up. Ooh. And then let's bring the head forward as we look down. Really pay attention to how the stretch changes. Finding those hidden muscles you never think about. All right, and then let's bring the head back to center and let's switch the chicken wing arm. We're grabbing the right wrist behind our back, dropping the head down. And feel free to find that position that's tight for you. You don't have to follow the directions exactly. I'm just giving some guidance. I'm going to bring my own head forward. And I'm bringing my back. And if you're holding any of these stretches, continue to exhale and relax and get deeper in it. Okay. Our necks are feeling really happy now. Let's bring the head back to center. Let's go stage two with the neck. So take those arms and fingertips and reach to the floor, letting all those neck muscles stretch down, drop the chin towards the top of your chest. And then let's rotate our head over to the right, pretending like you're listening to the secrets of your right shoulder. 
Uh, let's rotate the head over to the left, getting the back of our neck. And if you feel anything tight in the back, feel free to just leave the head forward. Okay, just rotating freely. All right, and then you can just straighten up your head. We're gonna get our hamstrings next. We're gonna do the split leg hamstring stretch, okay? Remember your heels are in line, your left toes are facing forward. Let's bring the arms up, and then we're gonna swan dive over that straight left leg, driving the right hip towards the front ankle. Using your hands to control the stretch, however deep you want to get. All right, go a little bit deeper here. And then to get out of it, let's bend the front knee and come on up. And then let's whoo, switch sides. I'm just gonna pivot over. So right now my right toes are facing forward. I'm gonna bring the arms up and then swan dive over that straight right leg. Okay, driving the right, I'm um, sorry, the left hip towards the right ankle. Woo. Feeling that right hamstring get nice and happy. Or not so happy, depending on where you are. Hopefully we're all happy here. All right, let's take one deep breath in. And as you release, let's bend the front knee and reverse swan dive. Okay, now we're going to do malasana. So medium stance, toes are out at about 45 degrees or so. I like to start with my hands at heart center and lower our bottoms down towards the earth or towards your mat. And just find that position that's, you'll know. Just continue to breathe. Okay, I have to remind myself sometimes, don't hold your breath. And we're gonna take one deep breath together before we support ourselves and come on up. So let's breathe in. And as you exhale, let's bring the hands to legs or knees and control it up. All right. <clears throat> so let's find the front of our mats. Let's start the moving options. Since we're, start, we're nice and loose. Let's legs together, feet together. Let's bring the arms up. And then let's swan dive down. I think we're going to skip the warm up. I think we're all regulars at this point. We know what to do. Let's bring the hands to flat back. As we exhale, let's plant both palms on the mat and come bring our legs back to plank. And let's do our first chaturanga of the day and come on up to upward dog, pushing the floor away, bringing the head and neck out of the shoulders. All right, we come back to plank. You can add in a push up here if you'd like. On our way to downward dog. And as always, we're going to hit those calves. So let's bend the left knee and drive the right heel down. And then let's switch. Let's get that left calf. Remember in downward dog, you want to spread those fingertips, push the floor away. And then we're going to rotate back to the right calf, bending the left knee. We're going to get the left side one more time. Let's bend that right knee. Nice. All right, let's straighten both legs. Let's do something a little different, but, you know, still in this position. 
So let's bring both feet together. And let's float the left heel up into the air. And let's swing it on through and plant it in front of us. And we're going to runner's pose. So hold yourself over your front leg, front knee, so your fingertips are barely touching the mat. Okay, it's called runner's pose. And then bring both hands to the right of that right side of the left foot. Okay, for runner stretch, you should really feel this in the left hamstring. Okay, depending on how flexible you are, you can either bring uh, an elbow down to the floor or just control that distance with your palms, whatever works best for you. Okay, that's about long enough. So let's plant both hands on either side of the foot. And let's bring everything up. So arms and torso up. Okay, this should feel familiar. We're back into crescent pose. We're really working the legs today. I'm a little shaky. And from here, we're gonna lower the hands down and come into prayer twist. Okay, stack those hands. Press the right elbow into the left knee. We're going to come out in three, two, one. Let's bring the arms and torso back up momentarily. And as you exhale, let's bring them back down, planting both palms in the mat. Bring that left leg back to plank and let's cheddar on the down to our upward dog. Okay, transition back to plank. Give me a push up here if you'd like. Into downward dog. Let's continue. Let's repeat that sequence on the right side. So feet and legs together. Let's float the right heel up into the air. Let's swing it on through. Okay. Let's support ourselves so that our fingertips are barely touching your mat. In runner's pose. And then let's come to the left side of the right foot for runner stretch. Let's get the right hamstring. All right, let's take a deep breath here. And as you exhale, let's get back over that supporting leg and bring the arms and torso up for crescent pose on the right. And then let's bring the hands to our heart center and come into prayer twist on the right, pointing the right elbow up towards the ceiling, stacking those palms. We're just hanging out. Very good. Let's come back out of it. Arms are reaching up towards the ceiling, back to crescent pose. Then exhale, bring everything back down, plant those palms. Leg comes back to plank, and let's cheddar on the down into our upward dog. And we're back to plank, adding in that optional push up into our down dog. And let's start our warrior sequence of feet and legs together. Let's float the left heel up in the air. We're gonna swing it on through and plant it in front of us and drop the back heel down as the arms come up for warrior one. Okay, let's go arms front and back for warrior two. Let's dip back into reverse warrior. Remember not to put too much weight in that back leg. Back to warrior two. We're gonna do something a little different even. So let's straighten up that front leg and take the, you can put plant your left uh, palm on your lumbar spine or on your left side. And with that right hand, let's reach forward. We're gonna do twisting triangle pose. Ew. When you can't reach any far further forward, drop the right hand down, left arm goes up. Okay, our usual is on the other side, so I'm, I'm changing it. Okay, and if you need to rest the hand on the leg, that's an option. If you need to use a yoga block, use that. I'm only turning everyone on their heads. 
turn myself in my head. This feels unusual. All right, that's enough talking. Let's pop back up into warrior two. So arms front and back. And once those arms are in position, let's bend the front knee. And we're gonna dip back into reverse warrior. And then back to warrior two. And let's swing that right arm forward and up for warrior one. Okay, and that back heel comes up, arms come down. Let's plant both palms. Left leg comes back and let's chaturanga down to our upward dog. Back to plank. Give me a push up here. Your way to downward dog. And let's repeat on the right. So feet and legs together. Let's float the right heel up into the air. Let's swing it on through. We come to warrior one. All right, and then transition to warrior two, arms front and back. And let's come into reverse warrior. Right hand is reaching towards the back of the room over our heads. And then back to warrior two. All right, we know what's coming. So let's straighten up that front leg, front knee. Reach for the left hand. Reaching for that dessert that someone's standing in front of you and dropping the hand down. Right arm is reaching up towards the ceiling for twisting triangle pose. All right. And in three, two, one, let's. Come back to warrior two, arms front and back. Let's bend that front knee once again, making sure it's tracking over that front ankle. And come back into reverse warrior. And back to warrior two. Let's swing that left arm forward and up for warrior one. And as you exhale the arms down, that back heel comes up. Let's plant both palms. Right leg comes back to plank, and let's chaturanga down to our upward dog. Okay, come back to plank. Give me a push up here as we come into our last downward dog of the day. All right, from here, we're going to go into chair pose. Let's step our feet towards our hands and bring the feet and legs together. And as your bottom comes down, the arms come up. And give me a straight line from your bottom all the way through your torso to your hands or fingertips. Okay, really reach up with those arms. Don't let the elbows flare out. We're going to straighten up in three, two, one. Slowly straighten up our body, keeping the hands up in the air. And let's Get onto the toes. All right. And let's lower the heels back down, bring the hands to heart center, and let's do twisting chair pose on the right. I don't know about the rest of you, but my legs are feeling quite tired today. All right, continuing to breathe. Sorry, I kind of got lost there myself. And then let's come back to center. Straighten up for a second time. Arms up in the air, hands up in the air. Leaning forward onto the toes. Okay. And once the heels are off the ground, stop thinking about the ground, but think about your hands in the air. Okay. Jakey here, but that's okay. 
And then let's bring the heels nice and controlled back down the mat. Hands are back to heart center and let's round it out with twisting chair pose to the left. Okay, continue to breathe. All right, and let's bring the hands back to center as we straighten ourselves up for a third and final time, raising the heels up and off the mat. All right, and then this last one, I want everyone to reach up. Give me one last super reach. And then lower the heels down, hands come back to heart center. We're halfway through, let's take a 45 second water break, or bathroom break, whatever you need to do. Maybe I should let the cat out. Uh. All right, we'll take another 10 seconds or so before we do tree. All righty. So let's get 98% of our weight on our left leg and 2% on the right foot for a moment. And then Bring the right foot, right heel, and stack it so wherever is easiest for you in the left leg. You can add the hands either at heart center if it's more comfortable for you. Add them up. Whatever helps you find your balance. multi-purpose bike you can ride it it's also a balance beam or balance stand i love it all right we're going to take another five four three two and one let's gently bring that right leg out and shake out the left ankle it's always a lot all right this is my weak side so let's get our weight on our right side, right leg. Stack the left foot. Ooh. And I'm just focusing in on something that's stationary. Ooh. All right, I want to take one deep breath in. And then as you release, you can come on out. Shaking out that right side. And then we're going to have a seat. Ugh. Okay, we're going to do table. So let's plant the soles of the feet in front of you, about shoulder distance apart, hands are behind you. Let's prop ourselves up into a table. And for fun today, if you want to take it to the next level, let's extend out one leg it is totally optional. I think we've all been doing it for many weeks now. And if you want, you can switch sides, even yourselves out. Or you can just stay with both feet on the ground. That's perfectly good. All right. And then as you exhale here, bring your bottom back down to the mat. Let's lie down on our backs as we do bridge. 
So clasp your hands underneath you. And once again, push your pelvis up towards the ceiling, rolling onto the shoulders for a bridge. You should probably feel that in your glutes and your hamstrings. Somehow my lower back seems taut as well. Ooh. Okay, we're going to push evenly with both feet. One last push, raise as high as you can. And then one vertebra at a time, control it down. Don't just crash. Ugh. All right, we're going to stretch our glutes next. So let's keep that right foot planted as you bring your left heel onto the right leg. And let's grab our right leg or our right shin. Begin to feel the left hamstring. I'm going to do three long controlled breaths as we usually do. I'll call it out. So let's breathe in through the nose and out of the mouth. Okay, relaxing, breathing into that left glute, getting as much out of it as you can. Once again, let's breathe in and let it go. All right, last one. Let's really make it count for this side. Let's breathe into the nose. And out the mouth. Ooh. All right, let's release the right leg. Let's plant the left foot back down on the mat. Right heel gets into position. Grab either your left hamstring or your left shin, whichever is more comfortable. All right, and let's repeat those three breaths. So let's breathe into the nose and out to the mouth. Okay. Number two, let's breathe in and release. Ooh. All right, last time here. So let's breathe in and exhale. All right, let's release the left leg down. We can stay on our backs for happy baby. So legs are up in the air. We're grabbing and pulling on the outside parts of our feet, pulling our knees towards our underarms, feeling those inner thighs. And once you're in position, let's rock side to side. Notice how that massages your spine gently against your mat. Ooh. Okay, and then let's get back to center and release the legs down to the mat. We're gonna stay on our backs for another spine stretch. So let's hug our, our right knee in towards our chest. Enjoy that little stretch. And then let's grab the outside part of our right knee with our left hand and then pull that right knee over our body, extending out our right arm to the right, and really just twisting our spine. <sighs> Taking care of our spines. I almost feel that in my, my right hip, my right glute a little bit, pulling my right knee. Feel surprisingly good. All right. Now let's bring that right leg back to center and let's repeat on the left. So we're hugging in the left knee. All right. And let's grab the outside part of that left knee and pull our left leg over. Oh.
Okay. And if you notice that either your knee or your hand is not, they're not both touching the floor, I want you to exhale and relax your body and let both of those reach towards the ground. All right, let's bring that left leg back to center. Ugh. All right, we're going to sit on up and get on all fours for cat-cow. We're going to continue that spinal love. I'm going to roll up my mat a couple times because my hardwood hates my knees. Or rather, my knees hate the hardwood. All right, so we're on all fours. Let's do five breath cycles for cat-cow. So let's breathe in and bring the head and bottom up and press the chest down. Exhale, rounding out the back. Yeah, you can untuck the toes and feet so they're flat on your mat. Let's breathe in, head up. Breathe out, head down. Okay, and inhale, head up. Exhale, head back down. I think that's three. Let's do two more cycles. So let's breathe in. Exhale, really push the floor away. Reach the back towards the ceiling. And we're going to get our last cycle here. So let's breathe in, head up. And then exhale, head down. Okay. Let's come in a neutral spine. Then let's get one for the inner thighs. I mean, come out of the all fours position. We're gonna do frog. So I recommend rolling up your mat on both sides because that's where your knees and your ankles are going to go. And remember you want a 90 degree at your ankles, your knees and your bottom. And just push your Bottom back to the back wall. And if you notice that your, your butt's going past where your knees are, you might need to spread your knees a little bit further apart. I'm just using the forearms to control that distance. We're going to stay up for another 15 seconds or so. This one always feels amazing. Or rather, I feel as though I need to do it more. Amazing is not the right word. All right. And to come on out of it, I want you to lean forward, not back. And then bring your legs out of it. Okay. I'm going to go into pigeon next. You can unravel your mat if you roll up your mat like me. I'm going to resume the plank position or push-up position. And then bring the right leg forward and plant it behind your left wrist. And then drop both knees down so the right shin is 90 degrees on the rest of your body. And then just find whatever position is comfortable for you. Let you come on down. All right, we're gonna take one deep breath here before we get up and out of it and add the quads. So let's breathe in. And then as you exhale, let's plant the palms on the mat and keep the right one planted. Reach back behind you. If that's an option for you, pulling in the left heel towards your bottom. I'm like a fun all in one. There's a lot going on both sides. 
Give me one last pull on that left leg, left foot. And then slowly release. Okay. Both palms are on the mat. Right leg comes back to plank. And let's get the left side. So left foot comes forward. Dropping both knees down. Finding that position that works for you. Ugh. A little tight today, but we're just gonna roll it out. All right, and just like the other side, we're gonna take one deep breath here before we add the quad stretch. So let's breathe in through the nose. And out to the mouth, let's plant the palms of the mat, reach back with the right arm, pulling in the right heel towards our bottom. We're feeling that right quad, it's, it's real happy. Hello. All right. And then let's release that right leg. Let's get off the left leg. Let's get our hip flexors when we haven't done for a bit. All right. So let's go into a kneeling position. The right leg is, or the right foot's planted in front of you. Okay, you want to have 90 degrees at both legs. Okay, and just rotate your hips and your butt forward. And uh, if that feels enough for you, you can stay there. You can also add the left arm so you can pull the left hip from the top and the bottom. For my arm people, you can even take it a step further and reach over your head towards the right. And no matter which position you're in, we're going to stay here for one last long breath. So let's breathe in. And as you breathe out, let's release, bring the hand back down. Let's switch sides. I'm going to rotate so it's a little more open towards the camera. So left leg is out in front. We got those 90 degrees going. And rotating my hip forward, feeling the pinch in the right hip. I'm an arm person, so I'm adding the arm. For you in San Francisco, it's I'm just hearing the raindrops as I do yoga. So glad I work from home on Mondays. Anyhow, give me one last reach here, and then relax. We're going to get the hamstrings one last time, so have a seat. I'm going to extend my left leg out, bring my right heel in towards my soft tissue. Okay, skip the yoga block, actually. All right, I'm going to flex the foot so the toes are facing the ceiling, and then reach those left toes or left ankle. Okay, no matter how far you can reach, just keep the back of the knee on the mat, on the ground. Okay, we're gonna take one breath together, one last reach before we switch sides. So let's breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, really pull yourself in or reach down and 
then back up. Let's get the right side. So switch legs. Bring the left heel in. Right foot is flexed. Arms are up. And then we exhale over that straight right leg. And just like the left side, we're going to take one deep breath in. We'll get a little bit lower here. Pull on the foot if you're grabbing your foot. We'll really reach for the toes if you're grabbing your shin. And then let's release that right side. Those hamstrings start to feel real, real good. All right, we're going to do both feet together, both legs together. You know, since we do both sides individually, we got to stay even we can't just do them individually so feet and legs together let's flex the feet reach for those toes okay, and if those toes feel easy on the easy side you can creep down your foot towards your heels and of course find what works best for you All right, give me one last pull. Pull, 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 pull. Ooh, hello. And then let's release. We're gonna do one final spinal stretch before we do our closing procedure. So keeping the left leg out, let's plant the right foot on the left side of that knee. Okay, and just hug. Wrap that left arm around the right leg or the right knee. I even feel that a little bit in my right glute or that hip. I never really know. It just feels nice. I know something's working. You couldn't tell. I never paid attention during science. Oops. All right, if your hands on the floor, give me one last push with the right palm. And then let's come back to center and swap legs. Planting the left foot on the right side, wrapping the right arm around the left knee. Okay, we're turning the chin in towards that left shoulder. Very nice. Let's release that onto our legs and let's come to child's pose. Okay. So knees are about as wide as your mat. And then exhale and reach the arms on the mat in front of you as you bring your head down. Just think about everything we just did, all that stretching, recovering from the weekend and getting us ready for the week ahead. All right. And from child's pose, come up and out of it, forward, 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 and rotate onto your back. As we come into Shavasana or corpse pose. Let's do a long one today. Let's do 90 seconds. I won't say a word. We'll start in three, two, one.
All right, and you keep your eyes closed. You reach your arms up above you. You point your toes beneath you. Give me a nice morning stretch. Maybe go side to side. All right. And then roll on to one side and rest your head and face right on your hands. We're just going to take a moment to ourselves. Okay, and when you're ready, whichever arm is on top, plant the palm firmly on the mat and push yourself up. Let's return to where we started. We get to do our alms today with a gentle pitter-patter of rain, at least for those of us in San Francisco. All right, so let's sit up nice and tall. You can close your eyes if you like. So let's breathe in through the nose. And breathe out with some sound. Oh. All right, next breath, let's breathe in through the nose and breathe out with some sound. Oh. All right, last breath. Let's really make it count. Let's breathe in through the nose and breathe out with some sound. Oh. Let's bring our hands to namaste at our hearts. You repeat after me if you'd like. May we have clear and kind intentions. Let's raise our hands to our foreheads. May you have clear and kind thoughts. Let's lower our hands to our lips. May you have clear and kind communication. Let's return our hands to our hearts. And as always, the light in me celebrates and honors the light in you. Namaste, my friends.